Hi, everyone. I'm Jamie Serretta, and welcome to our brand new show. The News at 3 will be Monday through Friday right here on 3 TV from 3 until 4 p.m. It will be different. This is a newscast. We will have news delivered in a new way. We'll be hyper local with live interviews on topics that you're talking about. We'll take you live into our newsroom, our workspace. There they are right now so that you can see us working journalism in progress, we call it, and get to know our reporters and our team more. We'll be interactive. We want to get to know you too and put you on TV as well. And we may even take this show on the road sometimes. Our AZ family team has been working so hard to come up with something really special for you. And we think we did. So without further ado, thanks for being with us. Lauren and Max, let's start the show. We are back to breaking records and the heat is not slowing down. Paul is tracking your first alert day forecast. Senior year turned upside down. A Valley High Schooler diagnosed with cancer how you can help rally around him. An Olympian opens up about her struggle with infertility, the resources available to women here in Arizona going through similar journeys. Want to buy a home but can't afford the interest rates? There's a new program to help, but experts have concerns. We'll tell you why. And are you smarter than a scammer? We put ourselves to the test to see just how easy it can be to fall victim to thieves. First at three, a string of locker break-ins at Valley Gyms, a college campus on lockdown, and a date is set for former President Trump's trial. Derek is live in the news with our top three at three. Hi, Derek. Uh, hi there, Jamie. Let's start with the criminal case against former President Donald Trump. Trump's attorneys had wanted this particular trial to start in 2026, but a judge has just scheduled the date for next March. 27 states hold primaries that month, including the state of Arizona. This is for the federal election interference case. Jury selection is scheduled to begin before Super Tuesday, when 15 states hold GOP primary contests. It also comes three weeks before Trump's trial in New York is scheduled to begin on charges related to hush money payments. There was also a development today in the Georgia criminal case. Trump and 18 co-defendants are set to be arraigned in Georgia on September 6th. That's a hearing where the defendants will enter a formal plea. Meantime, a faculty member was shot and killed today on the campus of University of North Carolina. Earlier today, the university sent out an alert warning students and staff of an armed, dangerous person on or near campus. The lockdown ended about an hour ago. We are still waiting to learn more details about exactly what happened over there on campus, but we do know that someone has been arrested. And a Valley woman has been arrested, accused of breaking into gym lockers. Scottsdale police say 35-year-old Natasha Streeter used bolt cutters to remove padlocks. She then took credit cards, used them to buy gift cards, and then converted those gift cards into cash. All of that according to Scottsdale police. Detectives say she did this at least four times, and she's now facing multiple charges. Our trending story today has to be the Arizona Cardinals. The team made a last minute switch at quarterback less than two weeks before the season kicks off. The Cardinals released veteran quarterback Colt McCoy. The 36 year old had been Kyler Murray's backup since 2021. He had started several games in Murray's absence, actually played decently well. But with Murray expected to miss the first few games of this season, the question now is who's going to be the next backup? Right now, it could be rookie Clayton Toon or Josh Dobbs, who they just got from the Browns. Mm. The Cardinals also released safety Sean Chandler and cornerback Nate Hairston. Uh, they have less than 24 hours to get their roster down to 53 players. It's oh cut down time for the mm -hmm. NFL. I think, the, Jamie and Paul, we have to ask, are the Cardinals trying to win this oh. season? It's a legitimate oh, Derek, question. That hurts. It's a legitimate question yeah. because if they do really poorly, they will draft higher next yes. year. So are they oh, just my. trying to throw this season. I think it's a real, real thing Waiting for that number one pick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, it'd be nice to have the number one pick. It would. Hate to lose a whole season over it. And what, September 17th, I think, is the first home game oh. for the Cards. So it would be fun to go to Cardinals games anyway. Jamie, you and yeah. I can go to some Cardinals games regardless. Oh, yeah. We need those big hats that you had last time. Yes. <laughs> Paul, he had a hat like this big. I don't know what that was it about. It could barely contain my head, you know. <laughs> but amazing. I want one. And, you know, it's hard to think about football, guys, when we have record-breaking 
striking heat right now. Oh. This is intense temperatures, and we have a couple days of them. Yeah, this just in, Jamie. Welcome to the uh, Weather Center. This is uh, where we put our magic together. Fellas, can you say hello real quick? Here, say hi. Look at that. Hey we're, we're working on that forecast. And this just in, there's scene working. Uh, this is a surprise. I didn't mean to do that, but look at this. What's happening? Come on, man. What's happening? This is where we're working hard. And this just in, folks. We hit a record. This is my friend Paul Horton. Yes, that's my friend Royal. Can I tell him the record? Yeah, do it. One, do it. 117. Okay. 117 degrees. This just in. And we've got another heat warning out there, folks. Take a look with your weather alert. Excessive heat is going to last through Tuesday. I know it. Remember, we're just the messenger. All right, here's the uh, live look outside. Sitting currently at 117, just some dangerous heat out there. 115 in Marysville. Hello, Scottsdale. You're coming in at uh, 113 and 112 in Ahwatukee. So the satellite and radar showing some cloud cover, some showers up along the rim, and uh, we could see some activity out along the rim again through the evening hours. Temperatures, well, the heats are going to continue. Staying near 110 by 7, 105 by 9, and 102 by 11. As we mentioned, another first alert again issued tomorrow. Will we see any relief? We'll get a look at your extended forecast coming up. We'll send Either it back relief. to you. And that, that's true friendship. This happens every day. I sit right on the <laughs> other side of Paul right there, and that's the real deal. I love it. The best pros and friends. So Paul, fun. Royal Scene, thank you. Yep. Uh, do you want to buy a house? but can't afford rising interest rates. Zillow just started a program right here in Arizona, offering mortgages with only 1% down payment. So Zillow says it is hoping to reduce how long it takes for people to save up for that down payment. Joining me now is real estate expert Cliff Freeman. Cliff, how does this work? It sounds too good to be true. How do people qualify for this? Well, you know, I hate to say this, but if it sounds too good to be true, that could be something to it. Uh, qualifying is not going to be as easy as some people might think. Um, you have to make less than 80% of the average market income. And I can tell you that in Arizona, that's going to be somewhere probably around $70,000 to qualify. Uh, and you also have to fall into the traditional debt to income ranges. So, Unfortunately, it's only going to help people who are at that very entry level price point where there is such a shortage of homes right now anyway. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just have to see how this plays out. We're used to uh, federal programs happening. This is a Zillow backed program. It, it is. And most of us know Zillow for, uh, you know, searching for houses. They're really an advertising company, uh, advertising and media. Uh, the name, some people don't know, came from actually from a zillion pillows, the data points, pillows, right, houses, uh, and zillion. That's where okay. um, uh, the name came from. But <laughs> the reality is they're getting into other different uh, verticals of the, the uh, housing business. Um, I buyers for one, which didn't go too well, and now mortgage. So, so is the there a concern for, these, for the people who decide to do this program? Should they be aware of anything before they get involved here? Well, that's exactly it. I mean, there there is no free money here. Zillow does not have a printing press. And so the buyer ostensibly would still come into the transaction with 3%. However, Zillow is going to um, essentially take 2% of that back and contribute it. That, there's only one place that can come. And that's going to be typically from the interest that the borrower is going to be paying. So we don't know what the rates are going to be mm -hmm. on this loan. We don't know if there's private insurance involved on this loan yet. Zillow has held their cards uh, very close to their vest to this point, as far as the details go. So some of the unknowns will have to play mm -hmm. out here over the next few weeks. All right. Uh, more to come on this. But Zillow has this program. Where can we find out more about this program, Cliff? Um, well, that's the thing. Zillow hasn't put a lot out about it. I'm sure if you go to Zillow's website, you'll be able to get more information, but you can Google right now and there's a lot of chatter on the internet about, yeah. uh, about the program. All right, Cliff Freeman, thank you. We appreciate your insight there. Buying a home is tough. It was supposed to be an exciting year for a Thunderbird High School student, but he was recently diagnosed with cancer. Now the community is rallying around him and throwing events in his honor. Our Michaela Castillo met with the student and his family. Michaela, how are they doing tonight? 
Yeah, so some positive news. Mm -hmm. The student finally went home after spending weeks in the hospital, but he still has a long road to recovery ahead of him. And that's why many people within the community, including fellow classmates, are coming together to help ease the burden. When I found out it was a tumor, I just, it, I was completely floored. It's a nightmare that is never ending for the Caldwell family. I couldn't talk, I couldn't really see that well. I was just having an episode of just full of stuff. Hours later, he was admitted to the Phoenix Children's Hospital. He was diagnosed with medulla blastoma, a cancerous brain tumor. It was just, you know, it was just so real. Just, I couldn't, I didn't want to think about it. Lucas had to undergo surgery to remove the majority of the tumor. That was like probably seven to ten hours. Now, two weeks later, he's back home. It feels good to be in my own bed now and to be, you know, comfy. While the surgery was a success, Lucas still has a long road to recovery. Radiation and chemo are, are going to start September 5th, like they said. Um, it's every single day at Mayo and then every single day at PCH. The hope is that Lucas will still be able to enjoy his senior year and become cancer free. I want him to enjoy his senior year. I want him to go to go to homecoming, go to prom, graduate. So there are ways that we can help out? Yes, so medical costs can obviously be very expensive. So some family members have stepped in, started a GoFundMe for the parents, and then tomorrow they will actually be hosting a fundraiser mm -hmm. at Lucas's old work, Mellow oh. Mushroom in Happy Valley. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna help and get involved, we have all that information, location, date, time, on our website. Great way to get involved and yes. help him enjoy his senior year. Absolutely. We yes. want to introduce you, Michaela. Oh, you grew you, up here Katie. in the Valley. Where'd you go to high school? Yes, yeah, so I went to Pinnacle High School. Mm -hmm. um, been here for quite some time yeah. and my parents are in Scottsdale, yes. so I'm very happy to be back. Well, welcome home. Welcome Thank home. You. We hope to keep you for a very long time and Thank hi you. to the folks if they're watching right now. Yes, Thank hello. You, Michaela. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Coming up on the News at 3, can you outsmart a scammer? They are taking their tricks straight to your cell phone now we'll make sure you are prepared plus once in a blue moon we get a blue moon we'll tell you when to keep your eyes to the sky